now we have the limit as x tends to infinity of x of 11x plus 2 divided by 2x cubed minus 1. So you want to find the limit of that function, all right? Okay, so to find the limit of this function, this is a rational function where the numerator is a polynomial and the denominator of 2 is also a polynomial. To do this, we will have to divide the numerator and denominator by the highest exponent in the denominator. In the denominator here, we have x to the power 3, right, to be the dominant uh, term or the term with the highest degree. So we have to divide numerator and denominator by x raised to the power 3, right? So we do that, the numerator we're going to have 11x over x raised to the power 3 plus 2 over x raised to the power 3, then divided by, we divide the denominator again, that'll be 2x cubed over, let's put it down here, x raised to the power 3, then minus 1 over x raised to the power 3. Good. So in our previous video, we solved the first and the second one, which we got the limit to be 0 and 5 respectively. We can go over and check that after this one. I'm still going to do some explanations for you. Okay, great. So we do some cancellations after looking at that. Well, actually, here I'm just working with the function, all right? So we do some cancellations. We're going to have, in the numerator, we're going to have our x will cancel one of the x there. We're going to have 11 over x squared, right? And then plus, there is nothing here to cancel, so we are left with 2 over x cubed. Then the denominator we have, uh, x cubed by x cubed, right? That is going to be just 2. Then minus 1 over x cubed. Okay, great. And now let's take the limit as x tends to infinity of this whole function now. Now observe, as x tends to infinity, we are going to have 11 divided by infinity squared, all right? Which is still 11 divided by infinity, which is going to be 0. Since 11 is a constant and x is increasing without bound. So the result of this fraction is going to be 0. Then we add it with, again, 2 divided by x raised to the power 3, all right? So um, as x tends to infinity, x raised to the power 3 tends to, infi um, tends to infinity. So that means 2 divided by infinity, that's still going to be 0. Then the denominator, we have 2 minus, again, this is going to be 0. So in the end, we enter with 0 divided by 2, and the result there is 0. So that tells us the result of the limit of that function as x tends to infinity is 0. That's for the qu third question. Okay, let me, let me write it down this way. All right, great. And now for the last question, this one is a little bit uh, complicated. That is, as x tends to, in this case, is negative infinity, all right, of that function. Okay, great. And now we have the limit as x tends to negative infinity of 2 minus 3x to the fourth power plus x, all divided by x plus 11. As we did in the previous question, where we divided numerator and denominator by the highest power of x in the denominator, here, in, the, in this question, we're going to divide numerator and denominator still by the highest power of x in the denominator, right? Always note that, always denominator. So when we do that, the highest power of x there is 1. Observe, this is just x raised to the power 1. There, x is, is being raised to the power 0. So when we do, divide numerator and denominator by just x, right? We're going to have the limit as x tends to negative infinity. So we divide 2 divided by x minus 3x to the fourth power divided by x then plus x over x, right? And we say this, the whole of that divided by, so we do the same thing to the denominator. That will give us x over x plus 11 over x. Good. So we're going to do some cancellations in the numerator. And when we do that, we're going to enter with the limit as x goes to negative infinity of, now, 2 over x minus now, x to the fourth power divided by x, okay, we see that to be 3x to the third power, then plus 1, right? Well, in the denominator, we enter with 1 plus 11 over x. Good. Now, let's we've got. As x tends to negative infinity, right, 2 over x tends to 0 because this denominator is increasing those towards the negative axis. Okay, the denominator is just x. Do towards the negative axis, but it's increasing, right? So what we get there is going to be 2 over negative infinity, 
which is going to give us zero. All right? So the result of this is going to be zero in this position. Then minus, well, as x tends to negative infinity, x cubed, all right, also tends to negative infinity. Now, since x is being raised to power 3, all right, if you, if you raise any number, any negative number to power 3, the result is still going to be negative. So as x is approaching negative infinity, you raise that x to power 3, right, you are going to have a negative result, but in this case, it's going to be negative infinity, and then we multiply it with negative 3. Negative infinity times negative 3, that will become positive infinity because of the negatives in both numbers. So here we have positive infinity, and then we add 1 to that. The denominator we enter with 1 plus. Now as x tends to negative infinity, 11 over x will tend to 0, just as we had for 2 over x. Good. And now we enter with, the numerator is infinity, the denominator is 1. Well, the result of this limit is infinity. All right? Good. Okay, great. All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.